Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your HP ProBook 450G3 RAM or solid state drive or just a normal hard drive, whatever you're really looking for. Uh, also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this uh, laptop. And one thing I can promise, it's gonna be really, really easy to open this one now. I had few there in the past which really, really broke my heart and broke my fingers and nails and whatever. So this is gonna be super easy, I promise. So to get to your SSD bay, you have to just remove one screw there and you need pretty standard screwdriver for that nothing special I presume everyone have one in their household and the screw doesn't come out it's just kind of a um, you unscrew it and then you remove the panel that's all okay that's the panel off now and that's where your Wi-Fi card is you're gonna have a closer look in a minute anyway And that's your M2 solid state drive bay. There's two options there to upgrade. I'm gonna show you now in a minute. Okay, that's the closer look now. That's your Wi Fi card here. And as I said, uh, this uh, solid state drive bay has two upgrade options, one of the small ones like that. Uh, I'm not gonna actually upgrade, I'm just gonna show you how it fits and it's possible to upgrade to this. That's only 64 gigs, now I presume we get them in bigger sizes. I'm gonna leave the kind of details in the description as well, so you can find it, maybe bigger size if you're looking for. It does work, I promise. I have Windows installed on it, I tried it, it works 100%. Only thing, it's too small. And the other option here is the longer one. It's 120 gigs Kingston. You can get them in bigger sizes, no hassle. And this also fits. I'm gonna leave the details in the description also for this one. Only thing you need, you need a little screw there. It, it doesn't come with it, so there you have it. If you don't have one, you probably have to buy one or just unscrew it from somewhere else, I presume. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm not going to upgrade them. I'm just going to show you because I don't have any bigger size drives for it. So I'm going to instead upgrade the 2.5 inch bay. And to get to the hard drive and RAM, just uh, unscrew the screw and uh, slide back the panel gently. And that's your RAM base and your 2.5 inch hard drive. That's your solid uh, DDR4 RAM slot 1. At the moment there's 8 gigs in it, I'm gonna leave this in it, I'm gonna show you now in a minute anyway. That's your second bay. Yeah, that's a DDR4 RAM slot number 2, so there's two slots, potentially you can upgrade this laptop to, to 32 gigs, should be no problem. Okay, there's the closer look to the RAM base. And you can, there's a actually spare part kind of a sticker on it, so you can go and find yourself whatever HP recommends. You don't have to do it, of course. It's gonna be probably more expensive that way. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna take out the one there and show you the specs of it. Closer look now again. I'm gonna leave the details in the description as well, so if you wanna upgrade to the same one, you can go and find it. They're not expensive. I would say if you buy two of them, it shouldn't cost you more than maybe 50, 60 dollars or euros. And that's the second one I'm gonna install now, that's 8 gigs as well. So in total this laptop will have 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 RAM of course.
there you go, that's in now, that's RAM upgrading done. Next up is a 2.5 inch so solid state drive. You can, up, uh, you can install normal drive there if you want, spinning drive I don't recommend, they're really slow, like so. There's actually at the moment there's a solid state, state drive in it, 2.5 inch, Samsung really good one, only thing is it's only 128 gigs, it's just uh, not enough capacity I suppose, just to need a bigger one that's all. Otherwise I'd leave it in it. it. They are really good drives now. Probably better than the one I'm gonna actually put in. There we go, there's one screw missing. You have to remove these four screws now to get your hard, hard drive or solid state drive, whatever you have in it, out. It's just gonna speed things up now. Remove the four screws. Hard drive should come out easy enough now. Yeah. As I said, they are good drives, nothing wrong with them. Only I wish it was a bit bigger now. 128 gigs, it's just not really enough for Windows 11 installation. Plus, you're gonna install Office and a few more apps, uh, applications on it, so it won't be enough. Okay, this is the solid state drive that's gonna go in. It's 2.5 inch as well, it's 240 gigabyte integral. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can go and find it yourself. Maybe find a bigger one or a faster one, better one, don't know. But it's it's good enough for this laptop anyway. It's brand new as well, so remember one thing, you know, you swap these drives, you have to install Windows again. And this laptop will have Windows 11 installed i'm gonna show you later we're gonna go and browse in the windows as well after i have all upgrading done and the windows installed again so you're gonna see it then yourself there we go same way in as the other one came out and the four screws on the sides don't forget them It kind of slides back in there, you have to push it in a little bit. Remember now, if it resists too much, it's obviously not right. Something is not right, so open it up again and see what's wrong. And put the four screws back in again, of course. And the back panel will go the same way in as it came out, slide it in and uh, close the screw, same with the other one. You have to, the other one now kind of clips in more, it, you have to put more pressure on it as opposed to, yeah. As I said, it's simple enough to upgrade these laptops, absolutely love them. They're so easy to upgrade and they're fast, good laptops for the age anyway. Okay, in a minute we're gonna go to Windows now and see what's going on there. Go to this PC, right click on it and go to properties. Okay, that's a HP ProBook 450G3 and as you see i5 6th generation CPU and 16 gigs of RAM. It's pretty good. I'm gonna run the benchmark in a few minutes as well, just go kind of briefly through it. There's your drive now. I'm gonna go to device manager now as well to show you a few other specs there. And actual drive as well. There, that's a 240 gigabyte state, solid state drive, Intel HD graphics, graphics 520 and your CPU of course. And I'm gonna run the benchmark now. I'm just, just gonna speed through things. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description as well so you can go and browse yourself then see what the specs are and is it good enough. One thing I promise you, it's not a laptop for gaming now, definitely not. Especially it only has 720 screens, 720p screen, so it's not the best one that way now. Even the screen recording is, is actually a bit foggy, I have to say, that's only because the screen is so small. Oh, the resolution is small, sorry. Screen is 15 point inch. 15.6 inch. There's your few specs now, that's your CPU, pretty standard I suppose. 
And as you see, the graphics are terrible. It's not good for gaming, not good for probably video editing or anything like that either. There's your SSD, pretty decent, nothing spectacular, spectacular either. And there's your RAM as well. It's, RAM is really good. So that's it now. That's the kind of a short overview now after upgrading and installing Windows again. So it's pretty good. Speed, speed is decent. So hopefully this was helpful now for you. If it was, thumbs up, like it and subscribe.